Bernardus Winery, founded by owner Ben Pond more than 20 years ago, with the goal of creating wines that flatter the palate and stimulate the imagination. Achieving that goal is a three-prong effort that begins in the vineyards, where Matt Shea stewards these vines from planting to cultivation. This is the Ingrid's Vineyard, and this is one of the first vineyards planted in Carmel Valley. It's planted the Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. It's especially important to our winery because it's so close to our tasting room. We can use it as an educational facility. We can take guests and walk through here, and they can really get their hands-on experience. We're about nine and a half miles from the ocean right now, so we really get that maritime influence, which allows us to grow the Pinot Noir and the Chardonnay. Unlike our other vineyards that are 25 miles further east, where we grow the uh, Bordeaux varieties, the Merlot, the Cabernets, and whatnot. We were kind of the pioneers in this area. We've stayed at a relatively small size, so we can focus on our customers and really giving people that experience. We've eliminated herbicides from our program. We do all mechanical cultivation here. We pull leaves to create a, uh, a fruit zone that has ventilation and doesn't get mildew, so we don't have to use sprays. So we're always looking for ways to uh, soften our approach to farming here. After harvesting, the grapes are moved to the winery, where winemaker Dean DeCorth handles the next phase of the Bernardist experience. When we first started here back in the early 90s, there was only a handful of wineries really in the whole county, and now they're just, they're almost countless, including all the small people that are doing a few hundred cases, up to the people that are doing several, you know, maybe 100,000 cases. We're kind of in the middle zone, we're about 50,000 cases total. Uh, roughly half of that's Chardonnay, which has been really, really a successful program for us, along with the Sauvignon Blancs. We do quite a few Pinot Noirs from little single vineyard areas, along with, of course, the Marinas. The way I look at it is, if you like dry, crisp white wines, and you don't like oak, then you can get a Sauvignon Blanc. If you like something round, buttery, a real traditional, like white burgundy style Chardonnay, we do that. And the reds, it's kind of the same. You've got sort of a soft, round, approachable red wine in all the Pinot Noirs, and then something more structured, a bigger, intense red wine, we have Marinas. Our vineyard manager, Matt Shea, is a really excellent partner for me. He's in charge of all the vineyards here in the valley, the, our own estate vineyards. We've worked a lot to improve those vineyards. I think it's another reason that we've been able to increase quality over the years. I never stop experimenting and stop pushing the envelope forward. You know, I've been doing this 30 years now and I'm still discovering new things every year. Every year I experiment a little lots to see if I can make something better. So it's constantly progressing and constantly, I think, getting better. I think we're making the best wines now we've ever made at Bernardus. Finally, the fruits of this labor are ready to be enjoyed in the newly expanded Bernardus Tasting Room. We have a newly refurbished tasting room that has basically three venues where you can have an intimate tasting with two people or you can go outside to our great patio and up to 100 people can spend time out there and drink wine. Bernardus Winery was the first tasting room out here. Others followed, but for many years there were only five here. Now there are 18 tasting rooms and uh, it's a lot of fun because more people are coming out. We are a destination. The greatest surprise and we hear it 99% of the time, truly 99% of the time, is most people who don't like white wine or Chardonnay will come in and say, I don't like any Chardonnay, don't pour me Chardonnay. We pour them our Chardonnay, they buy it and walk out the door with it. We have a great winemaker in Dean DeCorth, and we have a great vineyard manager in Matt Shea. And the combination between those two guys and the source of fruit that we get makes for great wine. From the vineyards, to the barrels, to the bottle. The Bernardus experience is based on a commitment to quality. We're focusing on whatever it takes to create the best wine. So when you come out to the village, you're gonna know at Bernardus, you're always gonna get a great bottle of wine. Everything we do is by hand. Everything's picked by hand. I like to think that Bernardus Winery has a uniqueness to it because you have different personalities and each one of those different personalities expresses the Bernardus experience, but in a different way. Visit the tasting room at 5 West Carmel Valley Road or visit the website at bernardus.com.